In today's tech tip, I will show you how to leverage variables in your counters. These instructions are the same for CodeSoft and LabelView. You simply start by creating data sources that you'd like to use in your counter. For today's sample, I'm going to use current value and I'm going to set it to one. And I'm going to use the method of increment you'd like. And I'll start by saying I'd like this to increment by two. I'm leveraging when printed fields today, but these can be results of any data source. From here, you create your counter. You reference within the bracket the data source you'd like to use. We'll use current value for current value, and we'll use increment for increment. I can click and drag this counter to my label. And you'll notice when I go to print with the current value at one and the increment method being two, you can see that it goes through one, three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15. If we change the current value to say six and have it increment by one and redisplay our preview, you can see six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So starting at six and incrementing by one. Now, this is a sample of how it's used. Um, I want to open up a sample label that comes with CodeSoft and LabelView that really shows you how to exploit this feature. In this sample, uh, we have a label connected to a database to load all of the product information you see on the left side of the label. Uh, a value in the database is a counter reference key referencing a counter one, two, three, or four. As we scroll through records in the database, you can see that it loads different information in the serial side of the label. The result of the counter reference key is driving counter current value, counter description, counter increment, and then the counter we have on the label displayed down here is referencing these results to be leveraged. Uh, we've taken this label to uh, the next level by also implementing a Visual Basic script on it to write the result of the counter back to the database. So it's a great sample that exploits how to have one label connected to one database that has each product serialized individually or each product group. Using variables in your counters helps you create more advanced serialization methods on your labels. Thanks for watching this video. For more information, visit us at techlinks.com or access our support center at support.techlinks.com. Thank you for allowing us to help you barcode better.